Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. Um, it's heard something really interesting today. You know, with 99 or whatever percent of people dying or the unvaccinated from, from the new COVID stuff, and over 90% of hospitalizations, especially in Florida, are among the unvaccinated. A female doctor was on this morning. She made the best analogy I've heard. She said that being vaccinated is like wearing your seatbelt, that it doesn't guarantee you won't get in an accident, but if you do, you have a much better chance of surviving. Hey, get your shots. I don't like wearing masks. And as you people who aren't getting the shots that has brought this mask thing back, I'm just saying. Take care. I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. After we finished filming, O.J. said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me, and I genuinely was surprised. I think it was his idea of a joke. And this is it. Mr. Uh, Simpson, would you please stand and face the jury? It was then, and perhaps forever will be, the trial of the century. The all-American football hero, O.J. Simpson, accused of the brutal murder of his ex-wife and her male friend. A nation gripped as the verdict was then read on live TV. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. Despite the mountain of evidence against him, Simpson was acquitted after his so-called dream team of lawyers successfully made the case about race. An Oprah audience at the time perfectly illustrating the divide as African Americans cheered the verdict while white America sat astonished in silence. It was the night of June the 13th, 1994, when the bloody bodies of Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, were discovered having been viciously stabbed to death. OJ was at first interviewed as a witness, but days later, a warrant was issued for his arrest. There followed one of the most iconic moments on American TV. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. A car chase broadcast live to millions as Simpson fled in the back of a white Ford Bronco, holding a gun to his head as bystanders pulled over and cheered him on. Many of them carrying signs such as, Go OJ! One of the greatest athletes of his generation. For many, simply could not fathom that the NFL football star turned TV and movie idol, beloved of Americans of all stripes, could also be a cold-blooded murderer. His wife, Nicole, is... This was how O.J. described his young wife, with whom he had two children, the day he was inducted into the American Football Hall of Fame. My wife, Nicole, who came into my life at what is probably the most difficult time for an athlete at the end of my career, and she turned those years into some of the best years I've had in my life, babe. The nine-month-long trial mesmerized the nation like never before, forever redefining criminal trials as must-watch live TV. I got interested and I forgot my gas was through. I, I was through and I'm still watching the TV. Hundreds of hours of bitterly disputed testimony fascinated and divided America in equal measure. He pulls back her head and he slashes the throat. And this moment, when O.J. was made to try on a pair of gloves that were found at the murder scene, will forever be etched into the collective American psyche. Remember these words, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. That was a turning point, no doubt, but so too was the grilling of the LA police officer whom OJ's lawyers successfully painted as a racist in a department with a history of racial bias. Mark Furman is a lying, perjuring, genocidal racist. 
One of Simpson's lawyers at the time recalls a minefield of forensic evidence. Uh, in addition to all the racial issues, the forensics was just incredibly complicated. And our job was to try and show reasonable doubt. For an attorney, for a defense attorney, it was just, it was a, a gold mine of issues. Simpson was later found liable for the deaths of his ex-wife, Ann Goldman, in a civil trial and ordered to pay $33.5 million. In one of his last posts on X in February, Simpson spoke optimistically about his health. All is well, <laughs> you know. So. Though didn't acknowledge the cancer which his family said led to his death today. We the jury in the above A man who shall forever be remembered for his stunning fall from grace, whose trial for murder sparked debates on race, gender and police misconduct in America, which are perhaps as alive today as they were then.